Well, as you can probably tell from the comments on my channel and the fact that, you know, my channel's been up for over 10 years and uh, there's no one serious in the UK, um, bar like one or two friends that I have that even comment on my videos. So what does that tell you? It's like, I know for a fact that Christianity is, is literally dead in the UK. Um, the only thing that's keeping it going is some Europeans coming in um, doing street preaching, doing some uh, fellowship um, on fire for the Lord, Africans coming in, setting up churches, you know, hiring out halls, Americans doing the same thing. And if it wasn't for these people, um, I, I, could, I could give you the names of any fundamental Christians in about one hand f f from each city in the UK. Um, that's, how, that's how really bad it is. And you can't even find any among even that company that take people like Ron Wyatt seriously and, you know, other people who have done some tremendous work um, from the Lord uh, the past few decades. Um, and that is the real state of the UK. Christianity is dead. But here's the stats from about five years ago. This is from a channel called Secular Talk. Secularism.org has some fantastic new findings coming out of the UK. They say research by the National Center for Social Research has confirmed the long-term collapse in affiliation with the Church of England and the huge increase in non-belief. They say in 1983, Islam represented around half a percentage point of Britain's population, but in 2014, it had reached 5%. So there's been a big jump in Islam from 1983 until today. A lot of that, I believe, has to do with immigration. They say the percentage of non-religious people has increased from 31% in 1983 to 49% in 2014. Conversely, the share belonging to the Church of England has fallen from 40% to 17% over the same time period. That's amazing. So this means... Yeah, um... So you're talking about 50% that literally confess any type of faith in God from any religion at all. It doesn't matter if you're, you believe that Darth Vader is God or you believe that um, Spaghetti Monster is God. So they're, they're listed as um, believers. So half, half the British population right now are agnostics or atheists. It means that, they continue, by far the single largest group of people is the non-religious. Based on estimates from the Office of National Statistics, there are 24.7 million non-believers in the UK. The next single highest group is Anglicans, which is people, that's the Church of England, uh, on 8.6 million. And also, let me say, that's actually a little misleading also, because, I mean, you want to talk about a liberal group of Christians. Anglicans are basically the polar opposite of evangelical Christians here in the U.S. or the dominionist Christians here in the U.S. or the fundamentalists. So these are people who, like, we covered the story. I think it was the head of the Anglican Church came out, like, last year. and was like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm just throwing this out there and stuff, but I'm an agnostic. <laughs> what the fuck? Head of a church is like, I don't believe. I'm not sure I'm, not sure I'm with it in that sense. All right, apologies for the language there, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, re really, like, Britain is beyond bad language. Britain is beyond like um, politeness and etiquette and uh, you know wearing your Sunday best to church and all that is, is, is like the twilight zone times a million. Um, that's what the UK is right now. Um, even the, the ones that do regularly go to church um, they're the most rejected people probably in society and the Christians that don't go to church are the ones that know the church is already in rebellion and already twisted and already sort of a business anyway so so it's sort of like um, uh, you know it, to start to talk about revival in the UK um, is, is, is talking about you know uh, teaching rocket science to a dog that's that's what that's what basically uh, revival is in the UK right now. It's it's going to be difficult. Let's just say that. Um, let's see what else he's got to say. 
That's the Anglican church in a nutshell. It's cultural Christians. Yeah, I'm Christian. I believe in Christianity. But let's not take any part of doctrine seriously. They 100%, don't even man. That, that guy's got 100%. You know, I, I just did a quick search, you know, to see if anyone had made a video about... Um, I mean, I've made a few videos about the dying church in Scotland and the UK. A few of you have commented on Scottish Christians and so on. But that is the absolute truth. Um, you know, even 15 years ago, I can remember attending... Uh, you know, we, we actually fed the homeless and it was this ex-gangster and he was born again. And we went around some churches, heard a few testimonies. And there was this group from America, and uh, one of them was an ex, um, like a karate expert, or I'm not exactly sure, he was high up, but he won tournaments. And uh, they went around the world giving their testimonies about to the Lord. And one, w one Sunday they went to a church in Easter House, and uh, they didn't know, but some, some guy brought a, a gun in and decided to shoot the guy. Um, who was giving a testimony, and he was in the hospital, and that that was the end of their testimony. I think in in Scotland in the UK for a while. Uh, there, there was another guy that used to criticise me, you know, talking about ten years ago. And I challenged them, and I says, "Why don't you actually go uh, to a church in Scotland, let's say, a anywhere in the west or east of Scotland, wherever you want to go? I'm I'm from the west, so." He contacts a few churches, he's like a pastor in America, and, and an evangelist, so he, he gets this appointment with a church in Greenock, and literally after the first week, he's in literal clinical depression and shock about the state of the church. You know, the state of the church in, in, in many areas is just a social club, it's just a place where maybe teenagers meet, and they just uh, go out drinking at the weekends, and they do what teenagers do. They don't take church seriously. They don't take the word of God seriously. And that, that was a real eye-opener to say the least. And he began to empathize with me and say, well, maybe you're not such a bad minister after all. You know, and I'll be honest, you know, God knows I've tried uh, to serve the Lord in the UK, my own country, and preach the word of God and all over the country. And there are some wonderful Christians there in the UK, but they're just not for forming a congregation. And, um, a lot, most of them aren't just aren't really serious about studying the Word of God, and taking things to prayer. Um, we should take everything to prayer. If you, if you believe, uh, in anything, any type of doctrine, take it to prayer. Even fast about it. Not serious, you know. I can cherry pick the good parts and say we we believe in the good parts. They're just like, eh, park that over here, and we're gonna go ahead and act in a secular way over here. So to say. Yeah, and if you do that, and. Uh, you know, and, and you're not in a, par a, a valid parking space, then the council will come and take your car away and crush it and destroy it. That's what they're doing there. That's the UK for you. say that 49% are non-religious, and then you say that, what is it, 17% are Anglican, it's well over 50% are really... I, I don't know if he's going to get to the Church of Scotland, but there were statistics that came out a few years ago that since the gay marriage was announced, which we're talking about 2013 14, so we're talking about the past five years, and some stats were saying that 5,000 people per day, per day, not per week, per day, were leaving the Church of Scotland. And in fact, one of my local churches of Scotland became a free church of Scotland. I had a discussion with uh, the minister, and I said, you know, that the free church is a bit closer to what it was in the Reformation, it still wasn't even what it was at the Reformation. I mean, the church has gone back the way in 300 years. It's not progressed forward like you have in many, well, I would say African churches have progressed since the missionaries came out and they've, they've understood about spiritual gifts, they've understood about um, doctrine and all that stuff. But uh, the, the church in the UK has literally, is dead. It's dead non-believers or non-believers in every functional sense in terms of how you run the country and how people are involved politically so this is fantastic news man it's fantastic news and it's fantastic news because of the implications of it but also because it's just truth 
I mean, there's, you know, I like how oftentimes when people talk about uh, politics and how to run a country and, and all those issues relating to it, we oftentimes... Well, I don't know what this guy's talking about, man. I mean, he's, he's talking about the clean of the church, now he's saying, what is good news exactly? Um, if you go into a church in the UK, Anglican, Church of Scotland, whatever church you go into, I would put money on the fact that you won't actually hear the gospel. You won't actually hear about repenting, turning, giving your life to Jesus Christ, getting baptized. You won't hear it. I can put money on it. I can put a hundred pounds on it right now. Go go to your local church in the UK, see if they preach the gospel and and record it. And I I will send you money if if you do if you do actually hear it. With regards to politics, <clears throat> it's just the the country's been shut down right now by satanic powers. People have forgotten how to pray. The gospel hasn't been preached. And uh, the country will be destroyed in, I don't know how long it's going to take. It's being destroyed right now from the inside. And so... I'm just like, truth is on the side of the road. It's like, eh, fuck that. Let's, functionality is more important than anything else, or feelings or emotions. No. We should also give a shit about what's correct, what's accurate. And if you have fewer people in your country believing in metaphysical, superstitious dogma, that's good because it's fewer people who essentially are believing the equivalent of Narnia or the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. All right, so this guy, I take it, isn't a Christian. So he, he's taking his good news <clears throat> that the church is in decline. And by the way, C.S. Lewis was a mason. I don't know the writer of Narnia, and by the way, my pastor used to try and draw parallels between the gospel and the line, the witch, and the wardrobe. I'm not joking you, man. He did. And that's why the church is dying. That's why serious Christians stay away from the church. So I'll leave it there, guys. Um, I don't know what to say. Pray for the UK before it's completely annihilated. All right, God bless.